Hey everybody, happy Friday. Welcome to your live work-in uh, for June the 5th. While we wait for people to roll in, I will do my best to read the disclaimer from fairly far away. So, in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness classes to Canadian Forces members. By using social media platforms, the virtual, the virtual fitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members recognize and acknowledge their age, health status, and physical fitness levels are unknown, and it is entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since this since it is preferable to consult your physician prior to beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members to consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document. If you experience any pain or difficulty breathing during these exercises presented in the video, it is recommended that you stop and contact a healthcare provider. If you are a CAF member and you sustain an injury during this video, please remember to fill out a CF-98. Okay, so I see we have some people here, so welcome to everybody. I'm so glad that you have joined us. Uh, don't forget if you are one of those people out there, snap some pictures, send them to us. We love to see uh, everybody working out at home. So. Today's class, we are doing uh, a lower body and core class. Uh, so I guess I should probably introduce myself in case you don't know. My name is Emily and I am a sports and fitness instructor at the Dockyard in Halifax. The only equipment that you're going to need today um, is preferably some kind of uh, backpack, sandbag, a weight will be just fine if you don't have any of those things on hand. Uh, we're doing, we're just gonna get started with our warm up by doing some toe touches. And I'll just kind of take you through it. Our, we have a kind of a big class ahead of us, so I don't want to waste too much time talking. So 30 seconds of each movement, I'll kind of key you along the way. So we're just going to start by opposite a hand to opposite leg. 30 seconds here. Tightening the belly as we come up. So we're gonna spend about six minutes on our warm up, and then we're going to get into a little bit of a strength set. Great job. Ten more seconds here, you guys. Awesome. Great job. We're going to go. Watch me for this one. It's a little bit. Uh, more complex than I usually throw into my classes. So we're going to go over the fence and under the fence. Over the fence and under the fence. Great job. 10 seconds. Feel some nice rotation through your hips and a nice deep squat. Good. 30 seconds of high knees. So we're not going to go too quick through this but we are going to just move in a nice dynamic way, bring those knees up to our chest. Following this, we're going to do 30 seconds of bum kicks. Sweating already, holy. Too much coffee, not enough water. Halfway there. All right, now you're just gonna alternate which leg you're holding, so you're just gonna hold the laces for about a half a second, feel that stretch, push the knee to the floor. Following this, we're going to do two, two seconds. you have two options. First option, step forward and squat. Second option is a broad jump. So I'll demo the broad jump first. Nice soft landing. Or step and squat, just with the sound, step, squat, feel that stretch, step, squat. So whatever you prefer, this is just your warm up. We do have a little jumping in today's workout, but we'll warm you up for that and give you some skills, don't worry. Four seconds left. Halfway there. All right, and we're gonna go back to toe touches. 
Emily's gonna fall over. I hope you guys are seeing my flag in the right orientation. It's backwards to me today, so. 10 seconds. Going into over, the, over and under, so over the fence, under the fence. Step over, squat, step over, squat. Great job, you guys. Rotate that hip, core stays nice and tight, supporting the body. Four seconds, and you're gonna go into your high knee. Let's try to do this one a little bit quicker this time, but still controlled so you're feeling a stretch through your glute and through your hammy. You're gonna do bum kicks after this. It's one where you hold your laces, pushing your knee down towards the floor. Great job. All right, butt kickers. So kicking the bum, grabbing the foot. If you find this challenging, which sometimes it can be for sure, just hold on to a wall or a chair for some balance. I'll try to stay in the frame for you guys today. 10 more seconds, and then you're doing your broad jumps, and that is our warm up, safe and E. Great job. All right, broad jump or step and squat, whatever, whatever you feel like you want to do is okay with me. It is Friday after all. Great job. I hope you guys are having some sun in Halifax. I'm home in New Glasgow, so just started to rain, but it's still beautiful and warm. Awesome. Okay, we're going to stop there. I'll restart our clock for us. So we're going to start with a bit of a strength component. Uh, it's more for quality than anything else. So whatever you have for weight is okay with me. Combination of strength and sort of an extended warm up. So we're going to do um, a sumo deadlift with whatever you have as a weight. So. I have my sandbag here. This might be equivalent to your backpack. So I'll turn this way, hopefully you can see me okay. We're gonna spread our legs apart a little bit wider than our typical deadlift stance. So we're nice and wide. You're going to push your hips back to the wall behind us. Shoulders are gonna stay down and back as if you're kind of breaking a bar in two and you're gonna push the knees back to come to a stand, squeezing the bum at the top. So that's our first movement. We're gonna go into a front rack. We're gonna do lunges as our second movement, and then we're going to do a pike push-up as our third movement. I'll show you that one as we get going. So we're just gonna do two rounds for time. Start with that sumo uh, deadlift. So let's all start this together. We'll use a little bit of a tempo on, on the lower. So we're gonna start from the top instead of the bottom, which is a bit different. So we're gonna start from the top. One, two, three, and one. Good. One, two, three, and one. That's two. One, two, three, and one. One. four, five, six, seven, eight, slow to lower down, nine, and ten. We'll put that backpack into a front back position. Five alternating lunges, that's one, Two, three, four, five, I'll clarify, five per leg, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hike to push up. You can watch me for the first one. That'll be a freebie. So we're gonna come to a pike position. Allow ourselves to come forward. You can keep your toes on the floor or bring your knees to the floor, it doesn't matter. Push up, coming back onto our toes, pushing back into downward dog. So we're gonna do 10 of these. All right, I've just done two for free. Join me for the next eight. We'll count that as three. Allow your belly to support you. Four, elbows are in. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. This is our last one. Lucky number 10. And into that pike. Hold that for just an extra second. Walk our feet to the front of the mat. Okie dokie. Let's go through that again. So we're gonna do our tempo deadlift. Uh, you can grab a drink of water if you need to. Tempo deadlift is our last round here. All right, so just like last time, we're gonna start at the top, three second descent, one second return to full extension. So nice wide stance, hinge the hips back, bend the knees, nice flat back, shoulders are down and back, and I want you to apply some tension to that backpack on the straps as if you're breaking them in two. Push the knees back for one. Four, one, two, three, one. Two, three, one. One, two, three, one. That's three, you guys. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, squeeze the bum at the top, nine, 10, great. We're gonna go directly into the lunge, five per side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Super, we're gonna go to push up to pike. Remember you can do this from your toes or from your knees, whatever you like. Push up, elbows close, chest to the floor, come onto the toes, push back into downward dog. That was one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Nine and one more. Lucky number ten. Ten felt harder. Hold that. Stretch the Achilles a little bit here, and let's walk to the top of our mat. Okay, so we are going to get started on our first set. Uh, listen, guys. Today, if you need to scale it please do so. It is a hard workout and it's a little bit confusing to follow, but I'll cue you along the way. So I know you'll be just fine. We're going to do an EMOM of eight minutes to start. 
So this is how it works. Two movements. We're going to do a double squat thruster, which looks like this. Squat, squat, push. Okay, do that again. Squat, squat and push. Okay, that's the first movement. Second movement is a simple front squat. So every minute on the minute, we're starting with two reps. So minute one, you're doing two double squats and two with a thruster, sorry. And then your second movement is just two front squats. The remainder of the time in that minute, you're going to do max reps, toe tap. Now, these can be quick or these can be nice and easy, whatever you need to do. Every round for the minute, we're adding one rep. When the clock catches up to you, if you can't complete your full amount of reps, when the minute's over, that's what you're gonna stay at, and you're just going to do that many until the end. So if you get to five front squats, five sandbag squats, or thrusters, sorry, you're gonna continue that same amount to the end. If you can carry on right up to number nine of each, that's fantastic. But I know it's a little confusing, but don't worry, I'll pee you along the way. I'm not gonna spend any more of your time trying to explain it. All right, so I'm gonna put my clock on for eight minutes. So minute number one, follow along with me. We're doing a squat, squat thrust, and then two air squats, then toe touches. So grab your weight, do this together. So squat, squat, thrust. Excellent, now two front squats. One, two, bag to the floor, and one touches until the time is up. Next time we're doing three, three of each movement. You'll catch on, I promise. Keep moving, we got 30 seconds left. Again, if you need to scale this, you're just tapping. Okay, so 10 seconds. Now we're doing three thrusters with double squats. Okay, follow me. One, that's one. That's two. That's three. Now three air squats, or three squats, sorry. One, two, confusing myself. Three, to the floor, one touches again. I hope I haven't confused you too much. This time, four thrusters with a double squat. Four front squats. All right, let's pick up our weight. We're on the floor. That's one. Squat, squat, thrust, that's two. Squat, squat, that's three. Squat, squat, that's four. Now four front squats. One, three, four, and toe taps. I'm so sorry, my phone rang. Keep it up, toe taps. Fifteen seconds to go. Then we're going into five of each movement. That's five. 
five. Five front squats. One, two, three, four, five. Into those taps. If you find the squats hard with the bag, just go into an air squat. All right, I know we're all getting close. We are on six reps. Here we go. One. Two. you guys grab a drink I know that was killer grab a drink and we're gonna go into another set
we're going to do a body weight weight lunge and we're going to do a sit up so same thing goes when we have time ringing we're going to do the one touch until the clock catches us so you guys know this off by heart just body weight one two that's two then you're going to go into your sit up whatever variation you want as long as you're coming all the way up you're going to pop back up one touches and continue on this one won't be this one will not be quite as bad i promise you all right i'm super proud of you guys for sticking through that i know it was hard okay so lunges each leg is one so two lunges two sit-ups is our first in three two one go ahead one two sit up come to the ground one two great job coming up to do your marches or your one touches toe taps today whatever you need to do you guys are doing so well I know I really challenge you gosh and me for that first one but pushing ourselves is all about and just do what you can we're halfway then we're going into three of each movement I dish my shoes on carpet they're a little bit less comfortable 10 seconds back into those lunges this time we're doing three all right can we hear the beep great so one two three and then you're gonna come down for your sit-ups one two three back to toe touches now you guys if sit-ups are starting to bother you you can easily do a bird dog or just hold a plank whatever you need to get through it I'm gonna pick these up to four of each movement. Minute three, we're on to four. Come on, you guys. Four, four, four. All right. Four lunges. One, two, three, four, four sit-ups. Ten 
10 seconds. We're doing six. Minute five means we're doing six. Okay, six alternating lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sit-ups, bird dogs, or plank, whatever you need to do. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, come on you guys, back to those one touches. You guys are doing so well. Lower body and core day. With a sweat. <laughs> second part of, of our workout now which is our Tabata a little bit of a belly burner so grab yourself grab yourself a mat if you have one so most times that you do a Tabata with me we do 30 sec or sorry 20 seconds on 10 seconds off today we're going to do 20 seconds of one movement and then 10 seconds of a complimentary, a movement that kind of complements it a little bit. So 
Our first Tabata is going to be a glute bridge and then a glute bridge hold. It's a 20 second glute bridge where we're going up and down in that movement and then 20 seconds where we're holding, or 10 seconds where we're holding at the top. Okay, so I know it doesn't sound like it's going to be over cha overly challenging, but I promise at the end of this four minutes, you'll be feeling it. All right, so come on down. We're lying on our back. I have the worst camera angles here. So glute bridge pushing through the heel, tightening everything, especially the pelvic floor, pushing to the top. Keep going, we're halfway. If you feel like you can wait this movement, you can go ahead. Good, now holding at the top for 10 seconds. Squeezing those glute muscles together. Let's go. Good, and you're gonna go right back into the extensions. Belly's tight, thinking of your lower abs, activating this movement. Holding at the top. Let's go. Continue on. Belly tight. We're halfway. And holding. Holding for 10 seconds. Let's go. Now, after this one, it means we're halfway through our Tabata. Now, on our fifth round of our Tabata, we're gonna change up the exercises. So, this is going to be our last, last loop bridge hold. And then we're going to go into sit-ups and a hollow hold. Good. So I know your glutes are probably burning, so now we're moving into a sit-up and a hollow hold. Halfway through, keep going. Good, into the hollow hold. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. Legs are off the floor, shoulders are off the floor. Let's go back into that sit up. I do apologize, I seem to have a really narrow camera angle today. I can quite find the right spot for it. Back to the hollow hold. If you need to bend the knees up, that's okay. Shoulders are off the ground. Let's go. Back into the sit up. Halfway. Hollow hold, this is our last one. Remember, if this is challenging or hurts the back, you can bend the knees, just keep that shoulders off the floor. Last round. End of the sit-up, this is our last round. Halfway, good job. Well done. And we're gonna stop right there, fantastic. Okay, so, we are just about out of time. We have enough time to do our cool down. Come on down to the floor. Inhale. We're gonna just exhale, walk your fingers out in front. We're gonna walk them back into 
our body. Now walk back out in front. Walk back to a seated position. Walk those arms back out in front. So you're going to feel a really nice stretch through your groin. Walk the hands back in. Let's do that one more time. Just like your fingers are itsy bitsy spiders. Great job. Okay, we're going to come to a standing position. You can hold on to something if you need a little bit of support. I'm gonna use my chair for an example. You're gonna bring your right leg on top of your left knee, and then you're going to bend the, the left knee forward, hinging at the hips. You're gonna feel a really lovely stretch in through your IT bands. Same thing on the other side. Excellent, excellent. Good job, you guys. We're going to spread the legs just a little bit. Cross the arms over, inhale, exhale, hinge at the hips, keeping the back straight for a second here. We're gonna feel a lovely stretch in through the back of our leg and through our hamstring. And then you can allow the spine to curl and fold, bringing your hands to the floor. Bring the hands back to the legs, itsy bitsy spider, up to your knees, exhale, and then inhale back up just to kind of avoid any lightheadedness. We'll stretch out our chest just a little bit. I know with our thrusters we did use the shoulders a little teeny tiny bit, so let's clasp our hands in behind our butt, push the chest out to the front of the room. I can see the sun kind of peeking back in on my end, so. I hope you guys are getting some sun up in Halifax too now. Great, shake, shake. Let's bring the right arm or the left arm, whatever you guys are seeing, up to make contact. You're making contact with the opposite shoulder. Hand is on the elbow. Good. So to the other side. All right. Okay, you guys, thank you so, so much. If there's anything else you need to stretch, I suggest that you go and do that now. Uh, thanks for joining in. I know today was a little bit different. Uh, one of those sets was a little confusing, but you struggled through it and so did I. So uh, I'll see you next week and I'm really excited to see all you guys back at the gym. Bye for now.